hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people really appreciate your support i will pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again yes guys as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country the Federal High Court has just ordered the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Atiku Abubakar to um, um, take an action immediately. All of this is in regards to um, Namdi Kano's um, trial. Namdi Kano has been on trial um, for a couple of months now. He's been in the custody of the Department of State Services. He's just um, a freedom fighter fighting for the freedom of his people. But President Mohamed Buhari uh will not um see it see him as a freedom fighter he prefers to negotiate with bandits he prefers to sit on a round table with bandits that sit with agitators to discuss to find out what their grievances are you remember one time buhari um sent uh gumi to go and find out what the uh, grievances of um the bandits are gumi went check gumi he went to the forest and said um, the bandits are angry because they don't have schools, they don't have this, they don't have hospital. Can you imagine how many times or uh, how many occasions has he called for a round table to actually find out that, okay, IPOB, the indigenous people of Biafra, what is your concern? What is your, What are your worries? Let's see how we can um, uh, um, resolve them. Not at all. You see one-sided government truly unfair but anyways um, this nam dekano's trial has been ongoing uh for some time now nam dekano has been in custody over six months since last year over six months since last year and the court has just ruled they've just taken a decision massive jubilation mixed reactions at the same time we'll bring you all of the details in a moment but before we do guys please don't forget to give us a thumbs up click on the like button and if it's your first time you're very very welcome please hit on the subscribe button god bless you the federal high court abuja on wednesday ordered the attorney general of the federation and minister of justice to pay a fine of an aggregate sum of two hundred thousand naira to the four members of the indigenous people of biafra who are standing trial alongside their leader mazi namdekano the four defendants are bright chimeze chidibere onu onudike benjamin madugu and david Wanrusi. They have, through their lawyers, complained bitterly that they have faced untold hardships in the bid to raise funds for their transportation to Abuja to face trial. The judge directed that the Attorney General of the Federation should pay each of the defendants 50,000 naira for failing to conduct diligent prosecution and for the inconveniences they suffered as a result of the absence of the lead counsel to the federal government, Shaibu Labara. The visibly angry judge expressed concern over the way the trial was truncated, insisting the 200,000 naira fine must be paid to the defendants before the next adjourned date of March 17th. At Wednesday's sitting, there was no legal representation for the federal government when the matter was called. As the judge was about adjourning the trial, one Mrs. Adiwumi Aluko from the Federal Ministry of Justice came in and apologized that the federal government's lead counsel was out of the country. Aluko told the court that two witnesses were in court but would not want to proceed in the absence of the lead counsel and sought for an adjournment. Justice Yanko did not find the reason tenable as she counseled the federal government legal team to be more serious in the trial of defendants. Also, the court cautioned the defense lawyers to desist from using frivolous applications to delay the trial, which started in 2015. This is truly unbelievable. You know, there was even uh, the, the first time um, Unam Dukano was brought back from Kenya. The first time he was uh, uh, brought back from Kenya. The first sitting of the case, Unam Dukano was not brought to court. They gave very flimsy excuse that it was for logistics reason. They could not bring Unam Dukano to court. Supporters were out there. Everyone was out there waiting to see. Even members of the IPOB were waiting to see their leader. Unam Dukano was not brought. Why? The, the response they gave was that for logistic reasons but they know how to reach kenya they know how to get to kenya but to take him from dss custody to court then logistic issues step in we know that all of this is all politics politics is just playing out here you know the judge was so so upset 
it's not like the date was uh, something that uh, took them by surprise. This date is known to both councils, known to the Federal Government Council and the the Canos Council. Surprisingly, the Federal Government Council did not turn up today for the case. And as a result of that, she ordered the uh, Minister of Justice and the Attorney General of the Federation, Abuba Kamalami, to pay a sum of 200,000 Naira um, to the four defendants who are standing trial alongside their leader. So meaning that um, each um, defender will get 50,000 Naira each. However, the reaction is that um, for the inconveniences, that is really small, 50,000 Naira because they have been going back and forth this case has been back and forth back and forth the next adjourned date is the 17th of march they will uh, meet again nigerians are speaking someone says that um, even justice Yanku can now see the deceit and hypocrisy of those accusing nam de Kano and others you see yeah because uh, the, the thing is that they they are just using flimsy excuse because the just the judge said that the federal government should desist from this thing they are doing, just buying time. It's like they're just buying time. And you know, Warri's government is that of intimidation, oppression. That is what he's been using for these agitators. He feels that the only way out is to intimidate, to oppress them, weary them out. At some point, they will give in and they will back out to say, uh, okay, we're not pursuing. Uh, we don't need a, a separate nation. We don't want to go our own way. We want to remain. That is not going to be the case. In any time when Amdekano speaks, he always talks about being very, very more convinced about this um, uh, um, this pursuit. Very positive. He's always speaking very positive. Even in times where DSS were giving him um, ill treatment, when he was treated ill, illy, not um, his family members cannot see him. Even lawyers were refused um, access to him. At all of those points, Namdekano did not give him. Buhari shouldn't think that... Um, stalling the case or trying to buy time with all of these excuses will make him give in he will not give in another person says that maybe the charges no longer hold water that is why they are looking for more charges <laughs> interesting after a while they brought 17 count charges amended 17 charges against the name the canoe and this person is saying that it's possible that they've looked around that uh, they, they might not get through so they have to buy time and maybe when they are coming back again they will come back with maybe another seven or another more another one here court and court clash when will they agree on one thing abia court is justifying can why abuja court is faulting him our justice system is sick and justice delayed is justice denied people's lives shouldn't be used to play politics Point on. People's lives should not be used to play politics. Anyway, guys, let's hear your own thoughts. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.